afternoon, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Home in Fun, this is just a little test video this afternoon guys, um, I wanted to test out the new Action 3 vlogging camera guys, and that's, uh, we're just coming on one of my local walks to Wixties Park, and that's, so uh, we're going to have a wander around, um, I've got no external mics fitted, so we're just using the camera mics, um, I'm thinking about purchasing the DJI wireless microphone kit and that guy so as I say if we get a little bit of wind noise it is still quite breezy just like Chroma last weekend guys so um, I apologize for that to start with so we're just gonna enter the park now guys see you in a minute right, guys, as you can see we're just entering Wixties Park um, had a lot of rain yesterday so it's um, quite muddy and some puddles in places a few people have just told me so we basically just probably just gonna have a little wander around the lake area and probably just explain a few bits as we go we've got the famous water chute there that's basically a boat what goes down a slope and splashes into the water at the bottom this is the river eyes as you can see it's quite high today dirty water where all the rain come into it yesterday you got the little peacock calf a little bit of outdoor dining mini boat in right there they have little small boats on there for the small children in the summer and this is the big boat in lake So they're the roaring boats, what you can hire out or buy on a wristband. You've got the kiddies sand pit area that's always full in the summer kiddies playing in the sand stay. this is still the main boat in lake Thousands of baby goslings and ducks and all that, so yeah, it's nice to come and have a walk around. So we're just walking now to the model boat lake. Right, this is where we're getting a little bit of wet feet. Luckily we've got our walking boots on today so we're filming in 4k today 25 frames per second I'm always debating what we should film in whether it's 
25 or 30 so I'm just giving it a little go at 25 today so it looks like the path is pretty flooded around this model boating lake so we'll go around this way right since this way is a little bit flooded I think we're gonna have this detour up here and we'll show you where all the main fun fire rides are sounds like a few are working and it's obviously school holidays now for for the kids so there's roller coasters log flumes etc various other fun fair rides and um, the train is also going around Wixties today so we can pick up the train at some point we'll show you that on film right, so this is basically the funfair area just have a little wander it's been a little while since I've been down here See a few fairground rides. You got the log flume at the top. You buy your tickets and wristbands in front. A little undercover dining area. See the log flume there. And you've got the roller coaster in front. Dinosaur Valley. Rocky River Falls. And you got the bumping cars at the end here. So this is Dinosaur Valley. This is all basically just free to walk in this park. It was left for the general public of Ketchering by Charles Wicksteeds many, many years ago. So the public can just walk through the gates and have a wander around. So this is regularly our walk. So there you go, Dinosaur Valley. Invaders ride there guys. That just basically swings out at 90 degrees. Um, not for me nowadays and that so yeah this is like the little adventure park for you um, just another thing to mention there is a general play area at the top of the park the swings and slides and there's a big new ferris wheel bin constructed i think it's about 50 meters tall so that is i'm pretty sure they're going to get that ready for this week the Easter holidays so that's another exciting oh, ride to go on um, I believe if you bring your car in here I think it used to be six pounds for parking all day so that's not too bad locals if you want to bring your car you can buy a season ticket I think that was 39 pounds for the whole year got the Octagon, Octagon cafes at the top. Now this is 
recently just been reopened I think this week and it's been four years I think since I've seen this open or it certainly wasn't open the last three years since Covid started so it's probably been renamed it looks now Daredevil Diner so we'll have a little wander up here We've got some new addition toilets and facilities up here on the right your main dining which looks pretty new all this block paving's new Burgers, your chips, etc. Let's just have a quick look at the menu. Food, cheeseburger, five ninety-five. Hot dog, five twenty-five. Nachos, fries, soft drinks, your teas and coffees. So. Diner. Now at the top here guys we've got the Wichtees Park campsite. So we'll probably just have a little brief wander through here. I think I did do a vlog about 18 months ago on the campsite. Um, it's just grass pitches, just a big big field. Um, there is water, waste facilities, shower block, so we'll, we'll wander through here and then rejoin the main lake as we go. So this is Wixdees Park campsite. Um, I'm not too sure on the opening date for this. Um, and normally open it once the ground's a bit firmer. Obviously we've had torrential rain during the month of March, so everywhere is pretty wet at the moment. So there's quite a few of these little service points as you walk around the campsite you got fresh water you got your fire there and your waste water goes down there so it has chemical waste and your your waste masters etc and in front we've got the, the shower block and there's some outdoor sinks as well for your pots and pans um, there's no electric hookups so you've got to be self-sufficient with your leisure batteries and gas etc so that's your Facilities, toilets, showers, and you see a little general washing up area. It's quite a huge this is. Um, I did inquire once about would it be possible to have like YouTube meets here, camp creator, etc. Uh, they did say no problem, they'd probably just charge a set fee for however many people and that um, nice little flatter area right down the bottom which they could fence off just temporary for say a hundred 
motorhomes, van life people, etc. YouTubers, if anybody fancied doing a meet. Pretty central in the country, in the Midlands, and that, as I say, is a nice little spot for the weekend. I do know the Roman Radfords used to come here, bring their boys, and that. Um, it's ideal for children, lots to do. As you can see, it's quite a spacious area, quite a few acres of grassland and that. So, plenty of room, picnics, barbecues, etc. Um, not too sure how much it is a night, but it's it's not too bad. I think the last time it was either 15 or 18 pounds a night. But um, obviously that gives you, when you think about it, a free admission to get in. So you've got no parking fees then of six pounds and that. So, so that will be all included. And... Um, if you want to walk out the park there's various local diners pubs uh, we've got a big retail stores down the bottom um, there's audis tesco's etc b and m and local as I say restaurants mcdonald's pizza huts and all that so there's plenty to do to all in walking distance so this is a general more flat area which I would say is suitable for holding a, a meat. It's, you can see it's probably a little bit muddy in places but um, hopefully a few weeks get a bit of sunshine it will start drying up. Right so we've got the little train coming around now guys so we'll just Pick that up before we continue the walk around the lake. So this is the model boat in lake again guys so we're going to um, re-pick up the walk from here and go back round, follow the lake round and we'll go over the lovely boardwalk soon. Steeds climbing stone there. All the kids love climbing to the top of that. Just a little feature around Wicksteeds. Right, so we keep going. And um, it's just a real shame it's not a little bit more sunny today. It'd be nice to see what. Um, the colours are like on this camera. Right, got another deep puddle. Good job. We've got waterproof boots on. Enjoyed this place. She normally off the lead a lot of the time when we come here. Um, park. Don't seem to mind if it's too quiet. Just to say, guys, um, if you want to see some 
drone flights of mine from here look back through my videos or I'll post some links right at the end of the this vlog so you can click on them and that's so uh, as I say it's quite a stunning place sometimes in when it's in full sunshine and full beauty um, lots of wildlife here um, there is a fishing lake here as well guys so any guys and girls who are into your fishing um, I think you have to just register for a day pass and that but um, I'm sure all that is on the Wicksteeds website so we're just heading back round now and we'll start walking on the boardwalk and that will take us over the the water as well Hi guys, it's a it's quite a big lake. Thursday. So we 
we'll just have a little wander down the train track. soon um, we're gonna veer off over a little footbridge soon and um, we're just going to go through a little woodland area so um, yeah hope you're enjoying this guys as I say it's basically just first test for the old camera hope it's all going well hope the Hope the pictures look good. They should certainly look better when things are a little bit brighter, brighter skies, and all that. And um, I'm just hoping the wind noise isn't affecting everything too much. Sky thinks she's going in the river again, but no way, Sky. You're not going in Sky, it's too deep. Sorry darling, you're not going in, it's too deep. You can see it's going fast. And I would imagine that will probably be about eight feet. So we've got the train coming again. time with the train right another little view spot overlooking the lake as you can see a few seats to sit on I normally like bringing the old Nikon camera here as well Getting some nice wildlife pictures right so we're going to just walk down here briefly and then we're going to cross over the footbridge and that takes us into the what they call the arboretum wander through the woodland arboretum section guys so we're going to get to the end end here and then that will be our little test vlog done As you can see this guy's brought me through the little muddy section but um, I'm not really too surprised with all the rain we had yesterday so let's just come up here a bit a little bit drier right we'll probably let her off a lead now Come here, darling. Rabbit now.
Right, so we're almost coming now to the end, guys. So appreciate it if you've stayed to the end and that. So if you haven't already subscribed, guys, please do so. Um, as I keep saying, there's a good few of you aren't subscribed. Um, YouTube Studios tell me 93% of my viewers still haven't hit that subscribe button. And the bell of course so give me some comments some likes and um, as I say we're on the road next on Thursday which is a Thursday before Easter and as I said up to uphill marina campsite so we'll do a little run in hopefully up to the site and show you around again guys um, do you do you that again because um, we did do one about two years ago guys but um, I made a mistake on the run in it was far too long I think people switched off oh before we even got to the campsite so hopefully we can do things a little bit better we're tending to learn from our mistakes now so yeah so I'll just spin you around and say Thank you very much everybody and we'll see you next weekend. Bye for now.